Hello guys, I'm Abhinav. This is my friend Rajan. This is Abhishek. Uh, these two guys are pro dirt riders. And this is the Himalayan 450 that we've been working on. In the last video, I showed you that uh, we've put in a few legs. We are running on the richest map. We have a way to speed air filter in and we've put a DCAT pipe in. So I just want to now try out the motorcycle on the trail here to see how this setup works. This is the first time the bike is coming to the trail with uh, everything on it, you know, the knobby tires, uh, weight reduction, whatever. We've, we've not ridden it on the trail yet. The cage is back on the bike because I dropped the motorcycle without the cage and I put a dent in the tank. So I bought a new tank, I replaced the tank. By the way, the tank costs about 16,500 for this color. Um, but that aside, since, you know, the weight savings were 3.2 kilos, uh, it's still not worth sacrificing a tank, right? So, yeah, the cage is back, so we're going to ride the bike. Uh, I'm not going to ride fast. I'm think I'm, I think I'm coming back on the trail after about a month, month and a half, maybe a little more. So, the idea right now is just to figure out the setup. We have also increased about 10 ml extra oil in the forks, both forks, because uh, when Rajan was riding this bike, he felt that, you know, the suspension, the front suspension was too soft. So we're just going to now see how this setup works, tune the suspension, we'll figure out whether we need to add more oil, reduce a little bit of oil, we need to set the rear suspension because on a dirt motorcycle, a rally motorcycle, suspension is about just about everything. So the bike might make more power but if it's not set up correctly in terms of you know how it's suspended it's gonna be all over the place so we're gonna do that we have also pulled out the abs fuse so it's not gonna show any speedo readings because without the abs um, i mean with the abs with the knobbies it was behaving very weirdly on the road it didn't want to stop properly so we just pulled it because anyway we don't need abs over here uh having said that let's let's start riding now where did he go? I think he, Abhishek is taking a leak. Uh, I also have these ODI ruffian grips on the bike. A lot of people have been asking me about them. I got them from the MX store in Pune. They cost about 25 or 2700 rupees. I don't remember now. So yeah, so... Oh, also what we've done is we flipped the uh, handlebar uh, mount. So if you'd see from here, like the handlebar earlier used to sit closer to me. If you flip them, it's going to start uh, sitting slightly further away from you, which opens up the cockpit. I anyway run the handlebar. I, I rotate it forward so that, you know, it's taller and it's away from the rider. That's the setup that I like. And now we'll just uh, go for a... 10 mm forward now. From before. It's about how many mm? 10 to 15 mm. It's about 10 to 15 mm. So about a centimeter, centimeter half. It's It's moved away from me. Shall we start riding? Okay. So these are really fast boys. I'm going to let them go. You guys go till Baba land and I'll catch up very slowly. I just want to first roll the bike and see and figure out how it's riding. Chalo. That man has no chill in life. Okay. So, I'm running on the Rice Toka tyres and immediately, yeah, there is a lot of grip. Oh, oh, wow, the bike has changed. With the fuel legs, the bike definitely has changed. Oh God, let me just gather my thoughts. Again. Holy fuck. Yeah, it, it is fast, man. So, uh, my god, the throttle feels a lot more precise. It's gruntier. And I have a lot of grip. Uh, too much focus on just talking, you know. This is what happens. <laughs> I wasn't paying that much attention. And I just... Ran very wide. Anyway. So I was telling you that. Yeah, the bike feels a lot gruntier. With the fuel X, the decat pipe, 
and the air filter everything is contributing you know and it's lighter it's it feels a lot lighter flexible than uh, what it was the first time when i rode it here capable rider you know this bike will fly i'm not doing anything like that uh because i just want to first understand the bike now it has changed drastically dramatically my god i've got a lot of grip from the tires I wish the handlebar was slightly taller, you know, just ever so slightly. Uh, once Royal Enfield launches the rally handlebar, which is about I don't know 37 mm taller or with the risers, I don't know, but it's going to make a difference. like a rajan or an abhishek will be able to exploit uh, the potential of this bike here wow man it's a different bike guys it's a completely different bike now It's very different now. Very very different. We'll sit and talk. Yeah. There's nothing like a regular soft Himalayan. Nothing, nothing like it. Okay, and the braking is also a lot more controlled now, with the ABS not kicking in. Chalo, chalo, chalo. Like these guys, I'm absolutely unskilled here.
on the third part they grip and even though we are running high tire pressure 25 psi Bro, it's crazy different. The suspension, no? Not just the suspension, the yeah, grant, the grip, the brakes, the weight bike, management, bike. everything has changed. Yeah. It is so but not like a stock bike. Loads of room for improvement. Obviously, yeah, obviously, you know, but yeah. it doesn't feel like a stock motorcycle anymore. It's not. It's just it's gruntier, it's powerful. From like the word go like you you move for two feet huh. and then it kind of kicks in like a you know like a inline 600 nahi nahi no, it, it's not no no it's not like that but what i feel is uh it's still like there is a difference in power 3000 rpm onwards and under 3000 yeah, rpm the moment, the so what will happen is once we put that bigger sprocket in which would be here in the next three four days next weekend we'll be riding it with the bigger sprocket that you know, like it'll be very quick from get go. Abhi kya alright? Three thousand it goes, and then it just fuck it changes. Yeah, yeah. It has a very Jekyll and Hyde personality. Three thousand ke niche it'll be normal. Then it'll be like fuck you, man. I'm gonna go. So it's like that. The power is there. Is the suspension? How did you feel? I mean, you I liked it. I I I felt that you know it was a little bit more composed at speed yeah. because. Um, if we go start going harder on it. We need to make the suspension. Huh. Like but pata hai mere ko arm pump ho gaya already yaar. Yeah, yeah. Because you come after a long. L like, like two months. Like, this positioning is so much better, na? It's it's not your elbows are not kind of digging into your. Tone ek hit rakhe the. Piche handle bar. Maine to abhi upper kia. That made a big difference. Yeah. But yeah, I I I think you guys should try and ride it now because. I've got massive arm pump. I want your feedback on the bike. Yeah. Nice. I hope you we were. We were recording. Yeah, yeah. Of course, I'm recording. I'm always recording. So yeah. <laughs> so guys, this is the bike. It is quick. It is fast. We will do a proper video, but this I just want to give you guys a first impressions of this motorcycle. Um, fuck, this works. This setup works. Uh, it's it's likable it's very likable you'll like it uh yeah that's about it i'm gonna stop this video now uh it's a fun bike we will give you more on this project very 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 soon bye bye